Isn't it weird when people give their dogs human voices? Like, I feel like we've all had that one friend whose mom thought their dog was like a human child. Like, I had a friend whose mom had this little shih tzu, and it's just an awful dog, and I think she named it something lame like Biscuits or something, and she gave it a human voice. But she would not only, she would not only talk for the dog, but she would talk to herself in the voice that she gave the dog. That's some crazy person shit right there. Like for example, she, she would say shit like this. She would go, she'd look at the dog right in the face and she'd go, Biscuit says, Mommy, I have to pee. And my friend and I would be sitting on the couch like, no, it didn't. Didn't even come close to saying that. It's a dog. It doesn't speak English. It understands like five English words max and all of them are treat. It didn't say it had to pee. You knew it had to pee because it just peed. Like all over the dining room. Biscuit says, Mommy, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. <laughs> no, it didn't. It didn't say that. You made it say that. You're talking to yourself in your own voice. It doesn't feel remorse. It's a dog and you're insane. We used to call it Paul. We, we called it that so much it started answering to Paul, which she was not a fan of at all. She didn't like that. Not one bit. She's like, it's not Paul. It's Biscuits. Paul's a people's name, okay? And we'd be like, so don't, don't give it a fucking human voice then. Don't give it a human voice and we won't call it Paul. But if you're telling me that that dog is speaking English to me, then it's Paul. Cause that's some Paul shit to do. People our age do the same shit though. They just do it on Instagram. I am a very helpful packer. Can't you see? I'm moving into my new house today. So many new carpets to eat, grassies to poop on and stairs to tumble down. <laughs> Ugh. Hi, I'm Augustus, but you can call me Gus Gus or Pussy Willow. I like sleeping and pooping. Business inquiries. <clears throat> That's actually a dope bio though. I'm a little bit jealous of that bio. See, why, they can have human voices, but they get special, special treatment. It's like if I wrote that bio, I would be, that would be weird. People would say, that's weird. Why are you saying that you like sleeping and pooping? And I'd be like, cause I like those things, okay? That's honest. I really like both of those things. It's more honest than my current bio, which says comedian. Look, I get making Instagram accounts for your pet. I get that. You got a cute dog, you wanna show it off, Power to you. I follow some of those accounts and I enjoy them. I'm really into golden doodles lately. They're cute as shit. It's people that give their dogs human voices in the caption that weirds me the fuck out. Like what, is the dog supposed to be running the fucking account? Is that what this is? Your dog's like, yeah, hey, yo, Steve, you mind, you mind snapping a pic of me real quick? I'm just gonna, I just wanna get myself just chilling on the couch here. <laughs> Thanks, dog. Bro, I mean, I'm the dog. <laughs> First of all, the names of the accounts are always the same shit. It's always something like, Sir Nipples the Frenchie. Cause there's so many fucking dog accounts now. You gotta make yours stand out, right? So you name it something weird like Sir Nipples, which by the way, awesome name. I fully support that name for a dog. Sir Nipples is probably the best dog name that there is. And then they dress him up in clothes and shit and take pictures of him and just fucking humiliate them. And the dog's always pumped in the captions. It's always overly positive. I love my new sweater vest. And then they hashtag it a million times so that their dog can hopefully get famous and they can sell dog food and use that money, spend it on a vacation where they leave their dog. Don't give it a human voice. Don't dress it up in sweater vests for the gram. It's fucking weird. Just let it be a dog. It's a dog, just, it's cool, it's fucking cute. Just don't turn it into a person. Here's a picture of a dog on a couch. Here is a list of acceptable captions. My dog on the couch. My dog chillin'. Man, what a chiller. Grade A chiller. I love my dog. This is my dog. You could even caption it, this is a dog, if it's not yours. I don't know why you'd be posting a picture of another person's dog or what you're even doing in their house. Here's a non-acceptable caption. I love chilling on the couch after dad takes me for a walk and in my new robe and then, nope, doesn't work, okay? It's a dog, doesn't have personality. Now, if you're an Instagram human dog person, you might be thinking, what if the dog does enjoy sitting on the couch? All right, you're not taking that into consideration. What if it's enjoying itself? Then the caption of the picture should represent that. To which I would say, even if the dog is enjoying itself, this is what it's thinking. <laughs> However, if dogs did think in English, then they sure as fuck would not be thinking whatever it is you're making them think with these captions. In fact, let's go through some pictures of Instagram dogs. I'll read the original caption and then I'll come up with our own that I think is more, a little bit more fitting. Yeah, I'm into fitness. Fitness whole pizza in my mouth. <laughs> God damn it, I'm so fucking hungry. I don't know what that is below me, but it's the best goddamn thing I've ever smelled in my entire life. This is pure torture, this is cruel. Celebrating some bullshit holiday for something I'm not even gonna be allowed to eat. Oh yeah, that's right. 
Right after she's done taking this picture, she's gonna eat that whole thing with a bottle of wine right in front of me, and I'm gonna get none of it. And I'm gonna get to eat those fucking pellets that taste like a bowl of grass threw up. Although, you know what, maybe it's good for me. I guess I could stand to lose a few LBs. I do look pretty thick in that picture I posted a few days ago. And not the good thick, I'm talking about the bad thick. Why the fuck am I wearing a bow tie? <laughs> I don't know, little pickles. That's a good question. I can just picture the owner of this dog as soon as she found out it was National Pizza Day. She's like, oh yes, pizza is everything. I cannot wait to take this picture of my pug sitting in front of pizza. This is gonna break the internet. Hey Santa, what am I getting this year? <laughs> what is this? What is this half robe, half ski jacket bullshit? It's so hot. I have a full coat of fur and we're in LA inside and I'm wearing a goddamn jacket? The heat is blasting, why am I wearing this? Why do you spend money on these things for me? You know what I would love? A bone. Yeah, maybe I'm a simple dog, would love a bone. Just a bone. Bones make me happy. But that's probably asking too much, right? No, that's fine, you spend the money you make promoting dog food through my account on this Paris Hilton looking shit. You know what I want actually for Christmas? New fucking owners. I'm five months old today. I also weigh 10 pounds. Does that mean I'll weigh 100 pounds when I'm 50 months old? Aww. I am genuinely very curious about this. Math is something I have yet to wrap my head around. But if I'm correct in my calculations, 10 times 10, carry the one. Yeah, that's 100 pounds. Almost as much as these awful humans that designate when I poop. Perhaps at this point I can overpower them and finally escape. <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! Listen, Mom, I know the vet said one scoop per meal, but we all know this is negotiable. <laughs> Even if I wanted to negotiate, I have no leverage. What would I offer? My bone? No, no, humans don't seem to enjoy bones for some reason. Ah, maybe I'll stop shitting on this couch. No, no, that won't work. I will always do that. I fucking hate this couch. Don't even get me started on these pillows. What are these girly ass pillows? What? I hate that this is my brand. Okay, I'm a goddamn bull terrier. I used to fight fucking bears for Christ's sake. Like, like Leo and the goddamn Revenant. Now what? Now I live in the Skittles headquarters, apparently. Look, these fucking pillows look like, look like 6 ix hair. Tastes better than mommy's cooking. Greenies, pumpkin spice, greenies. Available at your local pet store, ad. Are you fucking kidding me? You're making me promote pumpkin spice dog food? Sorry, I mean pumpkin spice. Wow, real fucking clever. I'm sure the marketing intern who came up with that one is patting himself on the back. Wait, wasn't it enough that literally every human food product in the world comes in pumpkin flavor now? You had to do that shit to my food as well? I gotta be honest, I don't care how much this company is paying you, mom. This shit tastes like fucking ass, okay? And not the good ass. How about some shit that just tastes like beef, huh? Is that so hard? How about that? You know, I was actually a fan of your cooking until you watched one Netflix documentary about food that scared the shit out of you and you went vegan and now I can't enjoy my life anymore. My face when I found out I wasn't born in France, but I'm French? This is just always my face. I don't know how to make any other faces. I guess I was being a good dog because mother dropped me off at this place called... <laughs> Fucking hell, this is the worst one yet. My bone is my bone, is your bone, hurt this, her bone too! Sorry about all the yelling there, but I mean, come on, look at this bone. Look at this thing. How fucking dope is that? Look at that, it says my goddamn name on it. <laughs> it's so cool, this is all I've ever wanted. I fucking love bones, bones fucking rule, dude. Look at this shit. Do you see this goddamn bone? Look at this thing. God damn it. I'm so happy I'm not wearing a sweater right now. All right, you see now, it's weird to give your dog a human voice, but maybe I am being too hard on Instagram dog human voice people. Maybe it's fun to pretend like your dog is running a social media account of his own. I'm judging the shit out of these people, so I should try it, but I don't have a dog. But if people give human voices to dogs, then I can give a human voice to something that I feel an emotional connection with. So to test, I've made uh, an official Instagram account for my food processor. Someone sent me this food processor to my PO box and I've grown very attached to it. I use it all the time. And so now I've set up a little Instagram account for it. Let's check out some of the pictures.
next day. All right, guys, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. I'm going to wrap it up by showing you my favorite dog Instagram account that I found while doing research for this video. Neo Bambi. I let my dog type all the captions. <laughs> I'll see all of you good boys later.